Well, good morning, everyone. 大家早安。It's a real privilege and honor to be here with you. 今天能够来到这里是我的荣幸。My wife and I. 我的妻子和我。She's at another church this morning. 我妻子今天早上在另一个教会。But we have the privilege and the honor. 但是我们有这样的荣幸。Of taking this gospel. 带着福音。Into all the world, 去到全世界。And our primary focus is to reach people who have never heard the name of Jesus Christ. 我们主要的目的是想要去接触那些从未接触过福音的人。And this morning, worshiping with you, 今天早上跟大家一起敬拜。I felt a bit of heaven. 我感觉到了天堂。Because how many know it's every nation? 你们相信吗 ？Every tribe, 每一个国家 ，Every tongue, 每一个族群。And I want to thank you. 每个人的口舌。For allowing me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm very grateful that you allowed me to experience a little bit of heaven here this morning, worshiping with you. I'm Doesn't matter if they're rich or poor. 不管你是有钱或是贫穷。But there's one sign. 但是有一个呃记号。That's universal. 是全部每个人都有的。All over the world. 在全世界。That means the exact same thing. 这个记号是代表同样的事情。And that is when you raise your hands up. 那就是当你举起双手的时候。It's a sign of surrender. 这个表示的就是你降服。Amen. Amen. Can we do that this morning? Today, 早上我们可以这么做吗 ？Would you just lift your hands to the Lord? 你可以举起你的双手。As a sign of surrender. 代表你要降服于神。Every time you come into His presence. 每次当你来到他的同在当中。Come in with your hands raised. 你就带着你的双手举起。And say, Lord, here am I. 说主啊，我在这里。I don't have much. 我有的并不多。But what I have, I surrender. I surrender my life to you. I surrender everything to you. And while you have your hands up, I want you to think about little children. Every child in the world, doesn't matter what nation, doesn't matter what language. When them little children raise their hands up, when little children raise their hands up, they're saying, "Daddy, mommy, pick me up." 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 They're saying, "Daddy, mommy, pick Just as you are, you are his child. He loves you. He's looking for you just to say, "Daddy, pick me up." When your children come to you and you raise their hands, I don't care what you're doing. You could be busy in the kitchen. You could be on the phone. But when your child reaches up their hands to you and says, "Pick me up, Father." Pick me up, mommy. I've seen mothers hold up bags of groceries and still reach down and pick up their child. Your father in heaven is never too busy to pick you up. He's never too busy to stop and scoop you up into his loving arms. He 一定有时间使用他爱的双手把你抱起 But we got to be like children. 但我们要像孩子一样 And say, "Daddy, pick me up." 说天父啊， Father, pick me up. 把我举起来吧 Amen. 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 God is good. 上帝是良善的 Come on, give him a clap offering. 把我们的掌声献给他 Go with me to Genesis chapter one, verse one. 请跟我一起看创世纪的第一章第一节。In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 起初，神创造天地。How many know there's a creator? 你们有多少人知道有一个造物主 
that in the beginning God created. Everything starts with God. And He is a creator. He creates. And the Bible says that in verse uh, 3, that, or, I'm sorry, in, let me grab my notes. Let me look at my notes. It helps. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, in verse 3, it says, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God is so powerful that He just speaks a word, and that thing's created. God's word is so powerful that all God has to do is say it. And he creates it. In 1 John chapter 1, John chapter 1 verse 1, if you have your Bibles, go there. John chapter 1 verse 1. John the apostle who walked with Jesus, talked with Jesus, ate with Jesus, wrote these words. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. God's Word is one and the same. Because when God speaks, He speaks the truth. He doesn't lie. And when he speaks a word, that word is truth. And he, and he is one with his word. How many of you ever had somebody give you their word, but they were not true to it? God is always true to his word. That's why he is one with his word. In 1 John chapter 1 verse 14, the word became flesh. The word became flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory is the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. So God, the creator of heaven and earth, He stepped down onto the earth, and He put skin on His face. And His name was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was just not a good teacher. He was not just a good man. He was just not a person who did miracles. He was the creator in the flesh. God came to this earth and walked. He ate food. He slept. He drank. He went through everything in life that you and I have gone through. So God is not this distant God up in heaven somewhere that doesn't know what you're going through. He stepped down out of heaven and he put skin on his face. He had skin. Jesus was God in the flesh. He was the Word of God that became flesh. Is anybody excited that God took the time to come and walk on the earth? I don't know about you, but that blows my mind. That the God of creation would come and put skin on his face. So that I could actually see what he's like. And John got to walk with Jesus. God got to, he got to see God in the flesh and with skin on his face. In fact, I'm jealous of John. 
我还蛮嫉妒约翰的。Because in the Bible it said that John， 因为圣经里面说约翰 ，got to lay his head。Right on the chest of God. 就是他放在了耶稣的胸口这边。He heard God's heartbeat. 他可以感受到神的心跳。How would you like to do that? 有多少人想要是经历这个 ？So God in the flesh. Everybody say God in the flesh. 大家说肉身的神。Yeah, He came on the earth. So go to Matthew chapter four, verse eighteen. This is going to be our main text for today. 我们一起来看马太福音第四章第十八节开始，这是我们今天主要的经节。So Matthew chapter four. 马太福音第四章 Starting in the eighteenth verse. 从第十八节开始 And Jesus. 耶稣 God in the flesh. 就是那肉身的神 You see that. That. Every time you read the word Jesus in your Bible, 每一次当你在圣经里面读到耶稣这个字 ，you can say God in the flesh. 你可以说这就是那肉身的神。God in the flesh. 那肉身的神。Jesus walking. 耶稣走路。God walking. 就是神在走路。What is God like? 神是什么样子的呢 ？Look at Jesus. 你就看耶稣的样子。Well, what is God like? I wonder what God is like. Look at Jesus. He was God in the flesh. He was like, hi. Hi. So here we have Jesus. God in the flesh. Walking by the sea. What? God walking by the sea. God walk. He likes the sea. 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 He likes the In the flesh, 肉身的神 walking by the Sea of Galilee, 在加利利的海边行走 saw two brothers, 看见有兄弟两人 Simon called Peter, 就是那称呼为彼得的 Simon, and Andrew his brother, 和他兄弟安德烈 casting a net into the sea, 在海里撒网 for they were fishermen, 因为他们本是打鱼 they were what? 他们是什么 fishermen, 打鱼的打鱼的 fishermen, 打鱼的 fishermen, 就是那打鱼的人 And he said to them, "Follow me." Jesus 对他们说，来跟从我。And I will make you. 我要叫你们 fishers of men. 得人如得鱼一样。Then he said to them, "Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men." 他说，我要叫你们得人如得鱼一样。Do you see that? 看到了吗 ？God in the flesh. 肉身的神。Strolling on the on by the sea. 在海边行走。Sees two fishermen. And he says, "You." He says, "You." Follow me. Come with me. So come here. Come with me. Here's the fisherman. This is a fisherman. He says, "Follow me." He says, "Come with me." What did he tell them to do? He told them to do what? Follow me. Yes. Just follow me. Come with me. What was he supposed to do? He had to do what? Follow me. Follow God walking by the sea. So he followed God in the sea. There's a fisherman. Following God in the flesh. You see that? And so, he's a fisherman. Sit right there. I'll, I'll come back to you. We're going to give the fisherman a break. And he told that fisherman, "Follow me, and I will make you a fisher of men." You used to fish for fish, and you know how to cast a net into the ocean. And you make your living off of capturing fish. But I'm going to teach you how to catch men. And I'm going to start with one thing. Just follow me. Just follow me. And then it goes on to says that verse twenty. They immediately left their nets and followed him. 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 They
They, they, and following, going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the sons of Zebedee and John his brother. 又往那里走，他又看到另外两个人，就是西比泰的儿子雅各和他的兄弟约翰。And in the boat with Zebedee, their father mending their nets, and he called them. 同他们的父亲西比泰在呃船上捕网，船上捕网，耶稣就招呼他们。And immediately, 立刻。When? 什么时候 ？Immediately, they left the boat and their father and followed him. 他们舍了船，别了父亲，跟从耶稣。Do you see what Jesus did already? God came on the earth in the flesh. And right now, he, he called four men, four fishermen. And he said, just follow me. As he's walking along the sea. Follow me. And when, when did they start following him? Immediately, they left and followed Jesus. They followed God in the flesh. 马上来跟从了耶稣那肉身的神。Verse twenty-three. 二十三节。And Jesus went about. 耶稣就继续走。God in the flesh went about. 那肉身的神到处走。He went about all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, 走遍加利利，在各会堂里教训人 ，preaching the gospel of the kingdom, 传天国的福音 ，and healing all kinds of sickness, 医治百姓各样的病 ，and all kind of diseases among the people, 各样的病症。Then his fame went out throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people. 他的名声就传遍了叙利亚，那里的人把一切害病的都带到他面前。Who were afflicted with various diseases and torments， 就是那害各样疾病、各样疼痛的。And those who were demon possessed， 和被鬼附的。Epileptics and paralytics， and he healed them。癫痫的、瘫痪的都带了来，耶稣就治好了他们。Okay， so we got God in the flesh。Hi guys。所以肉身的神。Finds four fishermen。找了四个渔民。Follow me。跟从我。And they're following him. So what? What was the requirement? Immediately and do what? Just follow. Just follow me. Just come out and hang out with me. So it just is. Just, just, just hang out with me. Matter of fact, let's eat. We're hungry. Let's get something to eat. Jesus did eat, right? Right. And they walked dusty trails. And what was the command? To do what? Follow me. Follow me. What were they to do? Follow me. That's it. And then what did he do? He preached. He taught. He healed the sick. And he cast out devils. God in the flesh preached. If you don't like preachers, you might have a problem. Jesus preached. He taught. He healed the sick. He healed the sick. And he cast out devils. Then he cast out devils. So my buddy fisherman is following me, following God in the flesh as God did what? Preach, teach, heal the sick, cast out devils. Right? Follow me. Just watch. Just watch me. You don't have to do anything but watch me. Follow me, and then I'm going to preach. I'm going to teach. I'm going to lay hands on the sick, and I'm going to cast out devils. Woo! That's an action-packed thriller movie. This is a very exciting action movie. And what was it? What were they to do? Follow him. So Jesus went about all the place. All over Galilee. Follow me, bro. Follow me. Come, come. And Jesus preached. He taught. He healed. He cast out devils. Got it? Have a seat. You, you look tired. Please don't miss this. God came on this earth in the flesh. He came to the world in the flesh. And he came at a time. And he came at a time. 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 He came at a time
没有电视 ，no Facebook， 没有 Facebook，no Instagram， 没有 Instagram，no YouTube， 没有 YouTube。Now think about this. 大家想一想。Do you think God was unaware that those things were going to be invented? 你想神他有没有预期到这些东西会被发明出来呢？ Do you think God was like, man? I I didn't know they were going to cre- create a Facebook page. You 觉得神会说天啊，不知道他们居然要创造 Facebook. How many know God knew in this day and hour we would have Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, television, radio, satellites? 你们有多少人相信神他早就知道，如今我们会有 Facebook, Instagram, 卫星电视这些东西。But he didn't come today. He didn't say, you know, I'm going to come and I need to get me some really good likes, so I'm going to get me an Instagram. He 没有说我要这时候再来到世界上，我要有聚光灯，我要上 Instagram. God in the flesh did not come and say, you know, I'm going to wait until they invent the YouTube so I can have me a YouTube channel and have a lot of people following me. 他没有说，哎呀，我要等 YouTube 被发明了以后再来到世界上，成为一个很强的 YouTuber， 有好几百万人人来 follow 我的频道。So was God just like? Did, did, did he not know how smart we are? Jesus, 难道不比我们聪明吗 ？And and didn't he realize that if only he came now, we could hook the brother up? 他难道不知道，如果他这时候才来的时候，我我我 we could get him on television so everybody in television land could see him. 我们可以上电视，然后大家都可以看到我们。But God didn't do that. 但神他没有这样做。How many think God might be a little bit smart? How many think God's really smart? How many think God has a lot of wisdom? How many think God's really smart? 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 How many think God's really All these guys did was follow Jesus. These people who did what they did was follow Jesus. How hard is that? This is how hard it is. Wow, man, God really raised the bar super high. Jesus, he set the bar super high. Follow me. 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 Follow me.
他说，哎，你们一直跟我，我已经向你们展示你们该做的。所以，让我们再做一次。所以，让我们再做一次。所以，让我们再做一次。所以，让我们再做一次。So let's practice this again. What are we going to do? What did you see me do? You saw me preach. You saw me teach. You saw me lay hands on the sick. You saw me cast out devils. And guess what? Your turn. Tag, you're it. And Jesus, at that point, didn't just have twelve guys. He had over eighty guys. Jesus, 那时候不只有十二个门徒，大概有八十。He had twelve disciples. He sent them out two by two, and then he sent seventy others out. 有十二个门徒，两个两个出去，但还有另外七十个人也是这样，两个两个出去。And what happened when those seventy returned? 那很奇怪，他们回来的时候，那些七十个人还在那边。And what happened when those seventy returned? And 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 what happened when those Jesus showed us how to do this. I saw Jesus do it. Jesus told me to do it, and now I'm doing it. Woo! Even those demons came out. So Jesus was the greatest disciple maker that ever lived. And his method is not Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. It's men who will become a disciple. He is not through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube to train disciples, but through people, that become disciples. And all it started with was this. At the beginning, it was just one sentence. One step. 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 To become a disciple, Jesus' answer to this world to reach in the nations is disciple making. But guess what? That's not good enough. Have a seat right there, Mr. Fisherman. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> Because I want you to know there is a big difference between education and training. I want you to understand that education and training are different. Education is what we learn in our heads. Right now, you are being educated. You're listening with your ears. You're judging what I'm saying. And you're educating your mind. That has zero to do. That has zero to do. With training. Training is always the body in motion. If I'm going to become a swimmer, I can watch videos of people how to swim. I can read books about swimming. I can talk to other swimmers about swimming. But how do you know I'm not training until I get in the water? One arm over the next to the next. What are you doing, Russell? I'm training. I'm swimming. If you any golf players in the house, you have to train by going to the drive range and you swing through to hit the ball. That's called training. I declare to you today. The reason that we're not reaching the unreached around the world. Is that the church is only doing half their job? They're doing a great job, a fantastic job. Of educating people, Christians, believers. That 工作是什么呢？就是教育人们，教育基督徒。About what the Bible says. 教导圣经里面的话语。But what we're not doing. Is what I had to do when I went into the Marine Corps. Is like me, when I went into the Marine Corps. When I was in the Marine Corps, we got trained. We had to take a lot of training. Attention! Hoot! You snapped your body to attention. Then you know, Jack. Then it was forward march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, to the rear. Left, right. My body was in motion. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chairs. We're not going to reach the world with our butts sitting in chair
He said, "Come follow me." While I preach, teach, heal, cast out devils. How many think the world needs to be preached to? Right now, it's estimated there are one billion people on the planet. That have little to no access to the knowledge of God, to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want you to sit on that for a second. A billion people have never heard the name of Jesus. How are we going to change that sitting in a pew? We need an army, and we need to do it Jesus' way. He grabbed a guy and said, "Follow me," and then Jesus said, "Just watch. I'm going to preach. I'm going to teach. I'm going to lay hands on the sick. I'm going to cast out devils." And then, if you have questions, remember when Jesus would do parables, and the disciples were like. Uh, boss, you know that parable on the seed and the sower? We didn't quite get that. Can you teach me that? So, at first, he just found a group of people to watch him do those teaching, healing, and cure the sick. And they watched him say, "Lord, you said this parable, I don't understand. Can you tell me again?" Amen. Amen. So. God in the flesh modeled to men what to do on how to reach this world. Okay, so got that? What do we need? Followers of Christ. What's the requirement? Take a step forward. How many you can take a step forward? Wherever you're at, God wants you to take a step forward closer to Jesus. I said, wherever you're at, in your faith, in your walk, He wants you to just take one more step towards Jesus. That's what qualifies you. What qualifies you is your willingness to take a step towards Jesus. It is not your age. It is not your wealth. It is not your education. It is your ability to take a step forward to Christ. At the age of 52, my wife and I sold our house. All of our belongings. Went off to Africa for three months. Lived in a tent. Went preaching the gospel. At the age of 52. Now we're getting ready to go to Madagascar. An island off the east coast of Africa. 28 million people live on this island. And it's estimated half have never heard the name of Jesus. They don't have electricity. They don't have roads. So your YouTube channel is not going to reach them. Your Facebook ain't going to reach them. Television isn't going to reach them. The only thing that's going to reach them is somebody following Jesus who's willing to go preach, teach, lay hands on the sick, and cast out devils. That is the answer for this world is the gospel of Jesus Christ. But it requires disciples willing to take a step forward. Do I got anybody here willing to follow Jesus? Do you notice he didn't tell them where he was going either? Well, you know, Jesus, I'll follow you, but can you kind of tell me where are we going and what's this program all about? And he said, nope, just follow me. Follow me. And they saw God in the flesh healing people. They saw God in the flesh casting out devils. They saw God in the flesh walk on water. They saw God in the flesh feeding the multitudes. 
The reason we don't see the miracles is because we're not following Jesus. Because Jesus does miracles. He can't help himself. Because he is God in the flesh. And God is supernatural, is he not? So when God shows up, supernatural things happen because He is supernatural. So when Jesus came, there were many supernatural things happening because He is supernatural. Paul the Apostle. Oh, let me go to let me go to Matthew. Turn to Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse eighteen. 请大家跟我一起看马太福音二十八章十八节。Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse eighteen is known as the Great Commission, or I call it the Mandate. There's only one mandate. And this is it. And Jesus, God in the flesh, came and spoke to them, his disciples, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. So you need to go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. You need to go there and make disciples of all the nations. You need to go there and make disciples of all the nations. You need to go there and make disciples All the things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the age. Amen. So let's go back. Jesus, God in the flesh. Whoop! Hi guys. Came on the earth. He grew up. He grew up as a boy. Came a man. And when he started his ministry. He walking by the sea. He in the sea. He in the sea. He in the sea. He in the sea. Follow me. So, follow me. And then he did what? Jesus went about doing. Jesus went around preaching, teaching, healing, and casting out devils. And then he said, "Now watch me and imitate me. Do what I do." Jesus said, "Do what I do." So we're going to preach. We're going to teach. We're going to lay hands on the sick, and we're going to cast out devils. Now you do it. Preach, teach, lay hands on the sick, cast out devils. Boom. Now, isn't that awesome? But guess what? That's not success. We have not done what Jesus told us to do yet. Told his disciples to go in all the nations and do what? He said, "You need to go to the nations and do what? Make disciples. Find you, find you a disciple. Get you a disciple. Tell somebody to follow you. Perfect. So." <laughs> That Jesus told his disciples. Jesus 跟他门徒说 ，We preach, we teach, we lay hands on the sick, we cast out devils. Now I command you. This is not a suggestion. This is not if you feel like it. There's not another plan. It's not YouTube. It's not Facebook. It's not a website. It's this is the plan I command you to do. Not YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. This is what I give you the command. What I taught you to do. I command you to teach other people. I command you to teach other people. Go make a disciple. Preach. Teach, lay hands on the sick, cast out devils. Woo! Now we're getting somewhere. We ain't there yet. I need another disciple who wants to follow Jesus. Come on, somebody take a step forward right now. One person. Good, good, good. Stay right there. Stay right there. Woo! We're getting somewhere. Why? Because Jesus said, "Go into all the world," and I'm going. Ah, Jesus said, "Watch this, guys. I'm preaching. I'm teaching. I'm healing. I'm casting out devils. Your turn. You do it. Preach. Teach. Cast out. Heal sick. Cast out devils. Now teach them to do it. Preach. Teach. Yes. Now you're gonna teach him. Oh, can you teach him? Go preach, teach, lay hands. <laughs> See, it takes time. Now you got a coach. This is where coaching comes in. All right, guys, let's do it together. Preach, teach, heal the sick, cast out devils. 
This is God's plan to reach the world. This is God's only method to reach the entire world. What he needs is somebody willing to get up out the pew, take one step forward and say, teach me. All right, good job, guys. I grew up in a broken home. I grew up without God in our family. My best friend in 11th grade was shooting heroin. My best friend was shooting drugs. We had no Bible. I never went to church as a, as a boy. I joined the Marine Corps to get away from the drugs and the violence and the people that were killing, being killed around me and dying. I joined the Marine Corps to escape that. I went in the Marine Corps, I was drinking. I got tattoos of devils on my arm and on my chest. I was a good marine. I cussed every third word. I got in fights with army guys. I'm picking up the ladies. I was a very good sinner. Anybody else in here was a very good sinner? Anybody, anybody else in here, were you ever a good sinner? I was a good sinner. I sinned really well. But one day, not in a church, not online, not on a radio, not on a television, not on a Facebook, not on an Instagram, but in my room, another, another Marine opened their mouth and began to preach to me about Jesus Christ. At that time in my life, I was very angry at God. I was pissed at God. I had gone through a lot of hardship as a young child in that sinful life and bad things happened to me. And so I blamed God. I knew there was a creator. But I thought he was a royal jerk. And I was mad at God. Until that man told me. Said Russell. That very God that you're mad at is the God that came and put skin on his face. And then he was beaten and wounded and whipped, tortured because of your sins. And then he hung on a cross. And the man who never committed a sin and never deserved death took my punishment on the cross. That God in the flesh himself said, I'm going to come down and I'm going to solve the world's sin problem. I myself will take on the punishment of all the world's sin. And God in the flesh hung on a cross. Not for six minutes. Not for 60 minutes. But for six hours, God in the flesh paid for our sin on the cross. And then he died. Took my death, took my sin, and he died. But how many know on the third day? The third day he rose from the dead. I'm here to tell you, religion did not die on that cross. A denomination was not whipped for you and beat for you. A denomination did not hang on that cross. A religion did not rise from the dead. A person did. And that person is alive today. And you can have a relationship with him. You can't have a relationship with a religion or a denomination. You can only have a relationship with a person. 
A person who will talk to you and help you. And that person is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves you. He didn't just say it. God loves you. He didn't just say it. How many know people that tell you they love you, but they ain't, they ain't no proof in the pudding? It's all lip service. But how much did God love us? Died on the cross for us. No greater love than a man has than to lay down his life for his friends. Amen. Amen. Let me close with this. First Corinthians 11, 1. Paul the Apostle writes these words. Imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. We don't get to see Jesus in the in the God in the flesh anymore. We don't get to see Jesus. He died, he rose again, he ascended on heaven, he sitteth at the right hand of God the Father. But Paul said, imitate me. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. Let me ask you this. What's your best imitation of Jesus? Are you imitating him? Have you ever seen people on television do an impersonation? And they sound like that other person. They imitate the president. They imitate other people. You ever seen people like that? Can you show me your best imitation of Christ? Because you are the only way the world will see God in the flesh is in you. As you imitate Christ, they get to see Christ in the flesh. We need to imitate Jesus. Walk like Him. Talk like Him. Act like Him. Think like Him. And Paul said, "Imitate me as I imitate. Uh, uh, imitate me as I imitate Christ." Some of you need your the answer to what you're looking for is for you to take one step towards your pastor, towards your leaders, and say, "Help me to imitate what you do." Jesus prayed. He prayed. He was praying one day. Jesus was praying, and his disciples were watching him pray. And then he said, they said to him, teach us to pray like you pray. I told you I didn't grow up in the church. I learned to pray because my pastor was on his knees praying. So, so I get up next to him and listen. I was like, you can ask God for that? I'm stealing that. I didn't know the Bible at all. And the second Sunday I was at this church, I went to this church, I got involved with the church, I didn't know the Bible, I didn't know anything, I just knew Jesus. I knew Jesus had saved me, Jesus had touched me, and I was excited. And the church said to me, we're going to go on an outreach. And I was like, an outreach, what is that? I didn't even know what an outreach was. And they told me that's where we go into the streets and we tell people about Jesus. And I was like, what? But, 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 I don't know the Bible. And they said to me, well, Russell, what do you know? And I said, well, I do know that Jesus loves me and died on that cross for me. I know that. How many you know that? How many you know that? How many got that? You have that. This is what they told me. I said, all I know is that Jesus loves me and died on the cross. They said... 
，所以我就跟他们说，我只知道耶稣爱我，他为我死在十字架上。他们就说 ，Good, start there, let's go. 哦，太好了，你跟我们走吧。And so I did. 所以我就跟 My brothers, disciples, not my pastor, but my disciple brothers. They said, "Okay, this is how you do it." One guy stood on the corner and he said, "Hey, everybody! God loves you. Jesus loves you." And he preached for about I don't know a minute or two, and then they looked at me and said, "Your turn." So we, the other brothers, there was one guy. He came to the street corner. He stood there and started preaching. "Hey, God loves you. He died for 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 you. You know what I did? Hmm. You know what I did? Hmm. I took that step. I took that step. Not knowing the Bible. Not knowing anything. All I knew was God loved me. And I knew what my life was like without Christ. I knew what sin had done in my life. And I knew the joy that Jesus brought me. So I stood on that corner. And I said, "Jesus loves you." I started following Jesus. Would you bow your heads before me, the Lord? You want to come with me down to the floor? First thing I want to ask you is, if you do not know Jesus, you've heard about him. You've gone to church even, but you've never met him. So, you and I can know who the president of the United States is. We might even be able to go visit the White House. But that doesn't mean I have a. I, I, but I can do that with ever, without ever meeting the president. You know when you have a start a relationship because you have to meet somebody to say to start a relationship. You must meet that person. You start a relationship by saying hi. My name is. You 会先说 hello. 我的名字是 And the other person introduces themselves. And you know the day and the place and the hour where you met that person. I know exactly when I met Jesus in my barracks. I know the day and the hour I asked Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead, to come into my life. And I would encourage you right now. If you've never met Jesus, you heard about him. You have a head knowledge about him, but you don't have a relationship with him. You're not talking to him, and he's not talking to you. Today's your day. God is standing on your heart right now, and he's knocking. Jesus said, "Behold, I stand in the door and I knock." Whoever open that door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person. Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." Jesus said, "That open door, I will come into their life and have a relationship with that person." If you rose from the dead and are alive, let's get this thing on. And my life instantly changed that that moment at a simple hi. This is who I am. If you never met Jesus and you'd like to, just simply raise your hand. Just raise your hand if you never asked Jesus. If you never met Jesus and you'd like to, just simply raise your hand. If you never asked Jesus. How about this? Why don't you just say after me, say, "Dear Lord Jesus." Please, come with me. Say, "Dear Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come into my life. Be Lord of my life. Become my Savior. 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 Be Lord of my life. Jesus is no different. Jesus is also like that. He wants a covenant relationship with you, but it starts with high. 
，他想要跟你纪念建纪念建立一个永恒的关系，但是他只是先说 hi。And finally, what I want to ask is one last thing. 最后我想要问你们的。You're sitting there going, I I I don't I don't know if I could be a disciple. 你在想说，我不知道自己能不能成为门徒。You're, you're telling yourself you're too old. 你坐在那里想着我太老了。You're telling yourself I don't I'm not qualified. 我还不够资格。I'm here to tell you, you are. 我想告诉你，你是有资格的。My wife and I are heading to Madagascar. We'll be there about ten years. 我和我的妻子要去马达加斯加，我们打算在那里待十年。One of the poorest nations in the world. 世界上最贫穷的国家之一。When I told my 79-year-old mother, 当我跟我七十九岁的母亲说的时候 ，that we were going to leave and go live in a foreign nation and preach the gospel. My 79-year-old mother said, "Can I come with you?" Can I come with you? My mom is 80 years old now. My mom is 80 years old now. And she's coming to, to Madagascar with us to preach, to teach, to lay hands on the sick, and to cast out devils. It's never too late. Every time they have a prayer meeting here, 每一次这里有祷告会的时候 ，be here. 你就来到这里 ，take a step into that prayer meeting and listen and learn and follow. 进到祷话祷告会当中来学习。The next time there's an outreach, 下一次有万展施工的时候，你就出现在那里。Take that one step forward to follow. 就踏出那一步来跟从。And God will use you. Because the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Because that the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. God bless you. 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 God Russell to come and just lay hands on Terry and just to pray with him. Not going to eat. Russell, 来为我们祷告 And as he's doing that, 当他这么做的时候 I want to take up a special offering today. 我今天想要来收一份特别的奉献 So Jeffrey, if you could get the slide up. 嗯，请把我们的奉献的 So what we're going to do is, we just want to bless Russell and Kathy. 我们想要祝福 Russell 还有他的妻子。They sold their homes. They 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 sold Uh, organization called Overland Missions. They have a mission called Overland Missions. And so,、uh, all the money that we fundraise will go to Overland Missions and their account with Overland Missions. We now have this fundraising will go directly into the Overland Mission Overland Mission account. And I want to ask anybody that's sowing into their ministry today. To also promise to pray for them. Because when they go to Madagascar, first thing the government doesn't want to let them in. So I want to ask you to write this down. Pray that the government will open the doors for them to go in. So I want to ask you to write this down. Pray that the government will open the doors for them to go in. The COVID disease is also very scary out there. So, the disease in there is also very scary. But praise God for Russell and Kathy who are unafraid. But we thank God for Russell and Kathy who are not afraid. So let's pray for their safety. Please 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 pray for their saf
Amen? Amen. All right. So we're going to take up this final offering. I'm going to ask Ken uh, to come up to the front. You don't have to. Nobody has to do anything. But if you feel God put on your heart to want to bless them, we're going to have an offering bag up here in the front. And you guys can write Overland Missions, but write it to NLCC. Okay? 所以我们现在就要来收这个特别的奉献。如果你心中有感动的话呢，就请你嗯、呃呃、拿一个这个支票抬头，或者是那个 envelope 写上 NLCC Overland Missions。Yeah. All right. So NLCC on the title, you can memo it. Overland Missions. You can give cash as well. All right. 你也可以呃给现金。那支票的话就是 title 写 NLCC， 底下 memo 写 Overland Missions。All right. Let's all reach our hands out to Russell one more time. Let's bless him, Father God. We bless Russell and Kathy. We just say, go with them. You go before them. And so we speak good health. Open doors. In Jesus, your presence. You are their partner. Everything that they do not have, you will fulfill. We bless Russell and Kathy. We bless Russell and Kathy. In Jesus' name, we say. Amen. Amen.